do you know what this is? This is the trailing shield from the Toro Time Master. Now every single push mower has this and I think I have the hack. Here's what a new trailing shield looks like and here's what this one looks like after it's been tore to shreds and we're going to do something that I've never seen anyone do but we're going to try to make this a little stronger so it lasts a little while because this is probably the fifth trailing shield on my Toro Time Masters. This is the hack that I'm going to try. It's flex tape. Super strong, super thick, durable. We're going to try to coat it on this trailing shield and see if it can make this hold up longer than a normal trailing shield. What we're going to do here, we're going to put one strip of tape like this. But I kind of want to wrap it around like that. Now this is thick, very thick, rubbery tape. And what I want to do is I'm going to take these scissors, cut it right here at the end, which that's so sticky. Should have probably cut it with the film on. What's nice also is this may add a nicer stripe because of the weight. And I'm also going to definitely cut this with the plastic on, which is a lot more easier. So just remember that. Keep the plastic on the back for cutting purposes. Now what I'm gonna do is put one more layer in the middle and kind of separate and wrap it around. One thing we don't want to do is we don't want to leave it longer at the bottom. So we're going to put it there like that, just like this, and then we're going to cut it. Remember leaving the plastic on. You don't get much on this tape. You definitely don't get much. Now we're going to rip the plastic off. We're going to fold that over. We're going to fold it over here. We're going to put one more piece on the back side. We are going to see if this helps strengthen this up. We got one little piece left. And that's it. We're going to try to put it right in the middle right there. Just like that. All right. So now it feels a little heavier, feels a little stronger because of that tape. I'm gonna flip my mower on its side. I'm gonna get that wheel off, get the old trailing shield off, well, the bar that's there. I'll show it to you. And then we're gonna get this one on. Then we're gonna give it a go. I got a 9 16th socket. We're gonna get this wheel loosened up here. Get this mower over. Take this off. I'm just gonna screw that screw out. Allen key. All right. Let's see here. So. I think I'm gonna get one. Invest in one of those short little Allen key things doesn't do this again, that's for sure. We are going to find out though. 
There's my screw. guys let me know in the comments what you think if you think this is gonna work or not okay I'm gonna throw the wheels back on and then we're gonna take a look at this in the grass So I cut my front yard really high with the grandstand. I don't think that was hitting the bottom of it. It was leaving a little straight, but it might have been hard to see on camera. Now back here, I'm going to drop it down really low, make two passes, and see if it leaves some sort of stripe. This way, the trailing shield is actually hitting the ground. So let's drop it down the E. Let's fire this up. We're going to see if it makes some stripes. a little stripe here and coming back let's try one more pass down this way So I guess you have to subscribe. You're going to want to see over time how this thing does here on this Toro Time Master. And don't forget, my last video, I talked a little bit about getting a different mower, whether it's a 30, 32, 34, 36. So in the comments, uh, leave some suggestions. And we're going to find out if this trailing shield can hold up. And I hope so, because it'll be trailing shield number six.